everybody, thank you so much for joining me today and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello. What a video you chose to click on today because it's going to be very chatty. I have to tell you, just listen for a second. The house is quiet. It's empty. I have it to myself and I've been wanting to sit down and film this video for quite some time, but it's just never, I, I never have that peaceful opportunity. And so I thought I'd do it today. I'm just going to get ready, well you're going to get, I'm going to get ready, you're going to watch me get ready and we're just going to, we're going to talk. Of course you can't answer me back, well, you know how get ready with me is work, right? So I just have a whole bunch of new stuff, I just threw it all in here. Uh, some of it's new, some of it's not because I didn't have any, but I figured, you know what, let's try it out, let's see what happens and I, we got that palette on our boxy charm that I got the other day, I wanted to try that, so I just figured I'd sit down. <clears throat> I won't talk too much about it. I will get a little bit of commentary and oh, look at the bags under these eyes. Yes, got a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of sleepless nights and um, yeah. So, I mean, as you can kind of tell, I put a little tidbit of information in, you know, in, what is it called? It's called the title, Leanne. Yeah, it's called the title. I'm just gonna actually spray this new fresh vitamin nectar antioxidant glow water. See how I like this stuff. Oh, that is, first of all, the scent is really nice. That is the finest mister I've ever used. The mister on it is fabulous. I like it. So, you know, it's approaching holiday time. This is, uh, you know, going into the, well, this is the second week of November. And I love the holidays. I really, really do. I'm sorry, I'm just like going through my bag. I should put it in front of me. I love the holidays, but they've been getting to me the last couple of years. We host the holidays, I host a lot, a lot of people in, in my house. Um, and it's very stressful and everything, but that's not really what kind of gets me down. What gets me down is that, oh by the way, I'm going to try this glitter stuff, the cover of X drops that we got. I normally put it all over my face. Let's just see what happens if I add a little bit. Because I already have my moisturizer and primer and everything. Let's let's see here. Whoa. Hello. That's some shiny stuff. Okay, yeah, we're, we're not going to put that all over our face. Uh, or else I'm going to look like a gold tin man. Why don't I just do a little bit of it right here? Okay. It's fine. So it takes a lot of prep work, but... You know, I've been single for five long years, going on six. I'm divorced. I got divorced um, 11 years ago. Um, and I've had some relationships in between, but the reason, like, I have a hard time around the holidays is, I mean, I'm blessed. I have a lot of blessings in my life. There are a lot of good things. I also got the Anastasia foundation stick that I really want to try. This is in the color... I have no idea. I will put it in the description box. It's a good color, though. You know, I've had some relationships and everything, but I love I love my life. I have a lot of wonderful, wonderful things in my life that I'm thankful for and everything. But being single at almost 50 is, is hard. And I'm only telling this story and going into this because maybe there's some of you out there who are experiencing the same thing I am. I'm fine being single. I've been single so long, I forgot what a relationship is like, and I'm busy, you know. I have two jobs, I'm actually thinking about getting a third. Um, and I kind of consider this a job, at least I dedicate as much time to it as a job as I would. But this is like my sanity. But, the thing is, I miss companionship. I, I, I miss hugs. I, I miss having somebody to share my day with, having someone to for them to tell me about their day. Pretty nice, by the way. At least in this lighting. This lighting really is horrible, but it is what it is. In essence, I get lonely. I have friends that I talk to that are supportive and everything. I got the Avocado Bendy Concealer from First Aid Beauty. I don't know. The name alone gets me. By the way, cats attacked me in my sleep. Well, not attacked me. You know, they were trying to wake me up. Whatever. 
Oh, and that's kind of the wrong color. But we're going to go with it. I'm going nowhere today. So I don't care. I mean, I just get lonely. Like, you know, I didn't have, um, I don't have any children. I'm not going to be having any children. You know, as I said, it, it, it gets lonely. I... I love the holidays and I used to love spending the holidays with with someone and someone to go look at the lights with someone to decorate my tree with somebody to decorate their tree somebody that I know is thinking about me and I'm thinking about them um, you know that's relationship I always loved being in a relationship I won't just date anyone just to be in a relationship though this is the longest I think I have been single. I have, I mean, I had dates in between and very short-lived things, but for the most part, I haven't had somebody to really share my life with in a really long time. And, um, you know, and, and I know that there's reasons for it, those of which I am going to one day soon film that video too, but uh, not ready to do that just yet. To try to disguise my bags, I use a much lighter concealer underneath the bag. It helps moderately, not always. Did you ever just think that maybe you forgot how to love? I don't know if I could love somebody again as much as I want it. Um, I don't know if I'm even capable of it, or if I'm even deserving of love, or if somebody could actually love me for who I am with all of my faults and everything. Am I even, you know, am I even worth it because I've had people tell me that, you know, I'm not relationship material. Um, and that hurt. I, I accept constructive criticism, you know, but I asked for, like, what makes me not relationship material? And they didn't tell me. Um, I've had people leave me because they think I had, you know, too many cats, you know, after four year after a four year relationship. And the prospect of it moving f further. It's like, no, you have too many cats. Well, I won't ever give up my cats for anybody because my cats love me unconditionally and will never leave me. So, there's that. Well, I said it just it 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 gets hard, and you know, the prospect of of, of growing older. This isn't where I thought I would be in my life, and I always think that you're you're where you're supposed to be. That's just how it works. Whether or not you think it's the place where you're supposed to be, things happen for a reason. But this just isn't where I thought it would be. And I'm the youngest of five. It scares the bejeebies out of me. I said that I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. And if I am, I am. And I'm going to deal with it. And, you know, I said I have a great, great job. I have good friends. Um, but in the end, I'm, I, I feel like... I'm just gonna be alone and that's that's just scary to me it's as best as these eyes are gonna get covered up I can continue to layer on product but it's not gonna make a difference what's so silly old people I'm not silly I mean I guess they mean well and everything but people are like oh you can still have a baby why why would I have a baby now why would I have a baby at this point for me for me personally I would never have a baby at almost 50 years old. I don't think from, from my circumstances it would be it would be fair and I'd be raising the baby alone and that's not something I want to do. I have wonderful nieces and nephews and I love them dearly. I wouldn't be adverse to meeting somebody. I've dated you know people with kids before and, and that's totally fine. Um, but I always thought I would grow old with somebody. I always thought I would have that partner in life. Um, and I just don't. And I admit, sometimes I get jealous and people say, oh, you know, being married sucks and they complain about their husbands and everything. But you know what? In the end, they go home to their husband. And when, and when they really need somebody, they're there for them. So the grass is always greener, but in the end, they're not going to be alone. If the kang <laughs> kangaroo, no, kangaroo. Sorry if the camera angle is different. I had to change my memory card. Yeah, just talking about, you know, being lonely. Like, yes, I can do things with my friends. But you have to understand it's not the same thing. So, you know. I also want to try out this makeup dry spray, you know, clean. Oh my goodness, Leanne. 
the brush cleaning spray that we got in our boxy charm. I'm just spraying it on a tissue. I find tissues work better than paper towels because sometimes the paper towel just doesn't get the brushes clean. And here's a nice little dirty brush. And I'm just swirling it. Eh, meh. The brush is fairly dry. Let's try again. They say to spray the brush and then swirl. All right, that's a little bit better. And granted, I did use one that was had a lot of pigment on it. Let's try a different one. Hold on. Let's try a real techniques one. Let me spray the brush. That's what the paper, the tissue looks like. The brush is a little wet, but I could definitely still use it. All right, that's interesting. I think I like other ones better, but it's okay. Go into this Ace Boutte. The the name I don't know. It kills me, but I asked, and that's how you pronounce it. I'm gonna go into this patchouli. This isn't all over. So the reason I started my YouTube channel was to like, I guess, give me something to feel not so alone at times. And I did it without a lot of support or encouragement. Some people thought it was silly and ridiculous, and that's okay. But, um, I know I'm gonna listen to people anyway. <laughs> I also want to use the new brushes that we got in our boxy charm. I did give it a little wash. Let's use this one as my first little crease color. Then I'm going to go into cinnamon. And I've been on YouTube a little over a year. In the beginning, I didn't upload very consistently. Then I started to, because I was, you know, I was like, I didn't have, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to, I didn't know much about it. Then I started to teach myself and learn. And that's when I got more comfortable filming because I knew uh, that I would, my editing would be okay. And then I learned more editing and more editing. And now I'm comfortable with editing, but there's still more that I want to learn. This brush makes the um, color go on very, very pigmented. These are pigmented shadows. I'm gonna put this on my magnifying side so I can see what I'm doing. You know, and as I started to grow, I used to, I would get more excited because I was like, I was making friends and um, people were commenting and and I enjoy commenting back so much and I'm just I'm just having like the time of my life with this and and it does keep me occupied so that I don't have to think about things. But man, when it comes to the holidays. It just, it, it just brings me down. And I try not to, I really try not to let it. I mean, I've stayed positive through so, so many things. Because you have to. To me, you always have two choices. You either curl up in a ball and give up, or you just keep going. And I've always been a just keep going type of person. I never even consider the alternative. And that's just how I will always continue to be because to me there is no other option. I'm gonna try this angled type of a brush for, I'm gonna put Poppy in my bright one, in my, not the bright one, the darker berry one, my outer edge here. You know, people, and the problem is I really don't, I don't meet anybody. I don't meet anybody in my, in my job. And those people who I have liked, not necessarily, not at my job or anything, but just people who I've liked in the past have not liked me back. Um, for one reason or another, or people who have liked me, I just, I haven't felt a connection or spark with, and I said, I won't, I won't be with anybody just to be with them. That's silly. And I have some, I have some limitations to, to things because, you know, and a lot of people don't want to deal with those limitations. Um, they're afraid of them, and I get that, and so I'm used to it putting this like a little bit lower than uh, that cinnamon color. But I don't need anybody. Um, a lot of my friends, you know, it's not like my I, I go out and I'm, I'm not gonna go to bars and or clubs. I, I did that in my 20s, you know? Um, not that, I mean, if anyone in uh, of my age does, that's, that's great for them. It's just not okay for me at this point in my lifetime. I'm just gonna blend everything out with my BH Cosmetics brush here. You know, so you don't you don't go out, you don't you don't go to clubs, you don't do any of that. 
So it's like, okay, so how do you meet somebody? I've had people try to introduce me to people, but it never works out. Um, you know. I'm going to take first this cinnamon color. I'm going to run it along my lower lash line. And I'm going to use this thicker type pencil brush and see how that works. I can tell you it's really soft on the eye, which I appreciate so much. I hate using a rough brush. I'm also going to take this bright rose color on a smaller brush and a teeny tiny pencil. I can't even see that. Teeny tiny pencil brush. These are some seriously pigmented colors. So that's that about, you know, dating and stuff like that. Here's the other thing. <laughs> I'm going to take Myrtle and put it on my lid. I'm going to try it dry first and see. I have just have a, um, a shader brush. They don't give you really... I mean, they say you can pack it on with this. I may try it, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. You know, you look in the mirror and... You see the aging going on and... I've earned every one of these wrinkles, let me tell ya. They're back, so it's not gonna be quiet anymore. And I just sit here and I and I worry and I stress about the future. And should I should I do that? No. And I try to turn my mind off at night. Sometimes it just doesn't let me, to be honest with you. I'm gonna take this other pencil brush again and I wanna take this jasmine and I wanna put that on in the inner corner. pretty. As blingy as I usually like, but I like it. I'm going to take a little bit of, of that patchouli and run it above, above, above my, I keep saying above, above my brow bone. <laughs> and I'm also going to take, again, that jasmine and do the same, but they're just a fluffy brush. And you know, of course, you can be brutally honest with me in the comments if you think I should just, you know, grow up and get over it, uh, you know, I'll, I'll accept that as, as an answer, um, but I'm just sitting here and venting and sharing my feelings and wondering if anyone has ever felt this way, has anyone ever thought this way, has anyone ever worried about these things, just has everyone ever gone through what I've gone through. Do you know what I totally forgot to do? I totally forgot to put on my primer. I forgot that I was going to use this Makeup Forever Step 1 primer. Oh well, that one went out the window. I'm going to try this Ulta Beauty um, really thick stick here that I got in one of my kits that I paid like half price for. Problem is, <laughs> it broke. So I'm just trying to... I just use it on my waterline so it doesn't have to be so precise. That worked well. I mean, it went on, you know? Oh, I forgot this part. Obviously, I couldn't use this on my top line because, yeah, no, that just went well. This is going to be an interesting one. I'm using this e.l.f. It's also one that I got in a kit. It's a felt liner. It looks like a little dagger. Let's see how it works. All right. This is, I have a problem over here because of my hooded eye. And my lashes are long. I'm not complaining about that. It's just hard to get here. You know what? I'm gonna, since I'm not going anywhere, I'm gonna mess around with this. I haven't perfected this stamp yet. Okay, that's not bad. Let's try the other eye. This is a pretty decent liner. Let's see if it like lasts or whatever. You know what it is? I cannot talk and do eyeliner. The island is pretty good. Let's try the stamp again. Okay, this one came out a little bit thicker than this one. Again, this eye is more hooded than this eye. But the good thing is if I wanted to, because this one I put lower than this one, I can always clean that up. So, that's a pretty cool little tool there. I'm liking it. I want to try, I got this new um, 
Cargo, the waterproof blush is like a sample and I really want to try it. Memory card full, again, somebody please make a, a memory card that has like 100 and million gigabytes so this doesn't keep happening. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm talking about this Cargo. Um, I'm complaining. And I said, be, as I was saying before, before I got rudely interrupted, you can be brutally honest in the comments. I mean, if you think I'm a whiny little brat, let me know. I don't mind. I will t take the criticism and I just feel like I can talk to you guys. And I can't get this blush open. I mean, this bronzer open. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Seriously? I cannot get this open. Alright, even if I like this, I'll never use it if I can't get it open. Eureka! Hmm. I'm gonna try this uh, Real Techniques brush set that I got. Interesting. Hmm. It's pigmented. Maybe a bit too orange, or maybe this is too dense of a brush for me to use. <laughs> Actually, once this blends out, this is a really pretty bronzer. And I really love this brush. It's so soft. I'm afraid to close it. I may never get it open again. I'm not going to close it tight. I'm going to give this Pure palette another chance that we got in our last boxy charm. I haven't touched it really since then, but it's so cute. I'm going to try like a little bit of this bronzy. This is supposed to be like a highlighter, but I want to see what happens if I kind of use it as a blush. I just want to sniff it. It's actually kind of pretty. Kind of liking that. I didn't bring another highlighter with me, so we're just going to use this highlighter. I don't remember if I liked it or not. Of course I didn't bring a highlighting brush, so I'm just going to use this one that I just cleaned. Gotta sniff it again. This is a nice highlight, but you know, I like my blingy highlights. I do like to be seen from space. Maybe someone will notice me then. <laughs> it's very subtle. And I'm not subtle. I do want to try this lip balm, so before I finish off my eyes and um, put some setting powder on, I just want to try this lip balm that we got in a BoxyCharm. Or no, it wasn't BoxyCharm, it was it was one of my boxes. It was my Ipsy. When I was sick. This is that strawberry peppermint one. I do love that little peppermint tingle. I also wanted to use this, which is my um, lip injection, but that's okay. I want to give this Hourglass Mascara another shot. Now, I'm not going to use my primer because I don't think it gives a good um, indication, you know, of it. But I do want to actually try my brows, and I haven't tried this really yet. This is um, the Brow Gal kit that I got in my, uh, what was it, my Beautycon bag, mystery bag. And I'm also going to try this Sonia Kashuk brush that we got in our Target box. Let's do this first, and then I'll do my mascara. I'm just all over the place. So guys, in essence, what I'm really trying to say is YouTube is what really keeps me going, keeps me happy, keeps me motivated, brings me the most the most amount of joy that I have. And I thank you every day for going on the journey with me. And I said it was quiet for a little while. This is actually pretty nice. The colors are a little um, off, like this dark one. I mean, you have to have really dark hair, so I really can't use it, but I thought it was pretty nice. Love this brush. Gotta absolutely love this brush um, that we got. Super cool. Okay, let's try this mascara again. I'm done complaining for a little while. <laughs> I now not only have one TV, but I have two TVs bad in the background. I'm not going to do my lower lash line because I want to wrap this video up because soon you're not going to be able to hear me at all. But I do want to do my lips really quickly. 
and I want to wear this MAC because I love this. I'm loving this and I'm loving the Anastasia. Do you want to line my lips though? I'm using this Ulta brand lip liner. It's pretty nice. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, but see now I, I can't, is I wanted to discuss plastic surgery with you guys. That'll give you some thoughts for my next get ready with me. So that is it guys. I had to finish and rush this video and just get it over and done with. I'm just going to do a little bit of spray spray here. Next time, uh, you, in my next video, I will be back to my normal happy peppy self, but I do want to thank you for listening. No lipstick. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch video, for listening, for giving me feedback in the comments and everything like that because you know, I guys, I mean, you know how much I, I love you all tremendously, so very much. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, have an amazing week. I'll be back to my normal self next time and I'll see you then. Much love everybody. Bye.